is Wellburn. I'm the uh, chairman of the Friends of St. Michael's and I've been chairman now for the past year, year and a half. So the Friends of uh, St. Michael's were established in, um, in the 1970s, really when it was proposed, uh, when the, the Diocese of Winchester were proposing to, or had it in mind, to close a number of churches in uh, Southampton. Um, a group of people um, found this uh, quite a sort of bizarre idea, uh, given that um, this uh, was then and is now uh, the oldest, uh, pro probably the oldest lived in building in uh, Southampton. So the, the Friends of St. Michael's um, gathered together to, in effect, um, preserve the, the church, uh, the physical structure of the church um, as, um, as, a, as a major historical structure, building, call it what you may, in the uh, centre of uh, Southampton, the very centre of the historical part of Southampton. St Michael's is probably the oldest building in Southampton which has been continually in use since Norman times and for the whole of that time it's been a place of worship. People have come here not only for regular Sunday worships but for the important moments in their lives such as the baptism of their children to celebrate their marriages to say goodbye to their loved ones. So it's really been at the heart of people's lives in the old town of Southampton. Let us pray to God, the Lord of the harvest in all things. As you have blessed the church with abundant grace, keep her faithful in the offering of word and sacrament, knowing that all things come from you and return to you. The Friends Organisation began a little bit over 30 years ago at a time when St Michael's was threatened with closure. And a group of committed enthusiasm and resourceful people said, this isn't going to happen. But they did more than that. They said, not only do we want to keep St Michael's open, but we're going to provide a fund that will help keep the roof on, keep the walls in shape, and will also enable the church to go forward with its ministry and its mission. And I think the, the simple fact is that without the Friends, St Michael's wouldn't be the vibrant, healthy, worshipping community it is today in a church that's in pretty good shape. The, the important thing about a church is a church isn't just a building. The church is, is the home of the worshipping community. It's like the difference between a house and a place where a family lives. You know, a house is just four walls of bricks and mortar. And when you go inside, particularly inside, say, a show home, you instantly know that nobody lives there. A church building is the home of people who come to worship. And that's why you know, churches that are used regularly are sometimes a, a little bit untidy, the scratches on the floor, you know, the paintwork sometimes flakes a little. But a building like this, which is over 900 years old in parts, costs a huge amount of money to keep the roof on, to keep the walls secure, and to provide for the day-to-day -day running of the church. Now, the simple fact of the matter is that the Friends don't do that just to keep a museum going. They do that because this is a place that people come to worship. It's the centre of their life. But without the Friends, it would be really difficult to keep it going. Within this building is, is a time capsule. It's, it reflects um, centuries of, of people's uh, living activities. Uh, beneath these uh, floors um, are the, uh, the remains of, of many of those illustrious individuals. Um, the walls with, um, are, are testimony to, to, to what has gone on before and, and the fantastic achievements and the lives and, and the very rich dynamic existences which people have, have lived here in Southampton. Um, uh, but, but the important thing is to realise that this is all part of a continuum and that the friends um, in, in what they do are, are there to, to, to do their best to ensure that this continuum um, 
is, is, it goes forward. But we rely upon uh, and we depend upon the valuable inputs which, which everyone of all generations, ages, colours, creeds, religions, denominations can give to this illustrious building here in the Central Centre.